So every time I pull the camera out to talk to you guys, it starts pouring with rain. Um, and I've just done a sound test and it sounds pretty bad, so I think I'll try again soon. All right, hopefully we're good to go. Um, so, as well as building a very unusual boat, I'm uh, actually building it in a very unusual way as well. Um, it's a method that I pretty much made up myself using a combination of other methods. First one from Kurt Hughes, which is the cylinder moulding, where he layers up thin plywood into a sort of half cylinder and then torches that into the hull shape. Um, the second one is um, Rob Denny's Intelligent Infusion. So he infuses flat foam cord panels and then bends them into shape. Um, but because they're quite stiff, you're fairly limited with the hull shape. Um, there's a lot of flat panels involved with um, just small radiuses on the on the edges, so it's more of a box shape. And then the other one is Lindsay Lord's method, which I found in the elements of boat strength, um, which is using thin cord panels with a more of like a flexible dynel type cloth on the outside. So what I should end up with is a thin, flexible, lightweight panel that can be tortured into the shape that I want. Um, and yeah, that's uh, the theory behind it. So I've got a piece of foam cord Inegra here, which I've made as a test piece. So you can see how flexible that is. Um, sorry about the rain. Um, you compare that, same thickness, same weight, to a fiberglass core. Now, you probably look at these and you go, well, you're crazy to build a flexible panel because how is that going to be stronger than the rigid one? Well, the reality is that this is actually stronger. It will take more weight um, in my tests than that one. Um, and also, impact-wise, this one, as soon as it gets impacted, it just shatters and it turn and it snaps and whereas this one will just bend straight back into its original shape um, so that's the theory behind it we'll see if it works really so the infusion is probably the most complicated part of this whole process um, something that's definitely new to me and requires a fair bit of technical um, know-how so I did a few test panels before going on to the bigger panels um, which uh, it went reasonably well. Um, learn, learn a bit about how to do it and what not to do. main hull panel was a bit of a disaster. First of all, we didn't have enough resin in the first place and it was a Sunday and I thought that we would have enough and if we didn't, I'd be able to use some other resin that I had, which was probably my first mistake. Um, then we mixed up a whole lot of it, thinking that the infusion process would be a lot faster than it was. Um, and that all went off before we could even use it. So. Um, pretty much wasted about three or four litres of resin and only got about a quarter of the panel infused. Um, so what I ended up doing is cutting and putting in another feed line where that first infusion stopped uh, and basically starting again, um, which actually went reasonably well considering um, the few dry spots on the hull. Um, the main issue that I was having is it seems to be impossible for me to get a good seal in the bag which allows small amounts of air to get in um, and creates air pockets. So I've got a few areas of delamination which I'm going to have to sort out which is not, not a biggie but it's 
a bit of a pain. Um, the second hull panel went a lot better. Uh, managed to do it all in one go. Um, still had some leaks, not major leaks, but some leaks. And I still somehow managed to get a few areas of delamination, which I'll have to sort out. Um, but all in all, that you know, it all went pretty well. You can see it here behind me, I think, it's in the shot. So I've just got to clean off all the PVC release film off the back of that, and then I should be able to put them together and create the hull. Should be pretty exciting. So the bulkheads are good to go. So they're just um, fiberglass XPS foam. Um, that'll just be glued in and the hull will just be formed around them. Um, got both the main panels done. So really just got to have a little tidy up, pull the mould apart, get it out of the way, and then I can hopefully stick the two halves together.